cute it is. That's a cute little dog kennel. For the little kitty. <laughs> Who'd you buy it for? For Izzy. She's going to have a house too. For that. Kitty. <laughs> right there. little screwdriver. How cute. No. Hey? Oh. Did you get one? Yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm not the instruction follower because I don't like that crap. Let's just do this. Ready? Magic. Voila! <laughs> Izzy. That's gonna look really lame. Izzy. Look baby. Surprise cat. You got a cat. <laughs> Here you go. Mocha, no. Baby. Not for you. She's like, what? Hi, here you go. Oh wow, okay. She just goes straight in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She's like, ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Izzy, I didn't think you'd go in there. Do you like it, baby? Is this mm. mine? <laughs> Aw. There you go. <laughs> you can get jealous, huh? Let go. Ta, drop, something. <laughs> Oh, easy. I'm going to go get her a little bird. so cute. Hello guys and welcome back to Mocha and Me Vlogs. Welcome if you've never been here. I'm so excited to start my vlogging again. I think the editing process is going to be really tough for me to get back into, but I'm going to make it work because I really want these vlogs to work. So today I have a few things on. First is dyeing my hair. As you can see, I've got like none of the black left because I kept dyeing my hair black all the time and none of that's left, it's all brown now. I went to Big W and this was on sale. So it's the color violet or dark brown, dark brown violet. And I don't know what made me decide to try this color. I just wanna try the color. So I will be going that color today. I've stopped cutting my hair uh, while we were in quarantine, I ended up cutting like a fringe and I regretted it. <laughs> so I'm growing that out and also I'm growing my hair out. So I want it to be like super long and this is where it's at at the minute. It is straightened so it's kind of longer, but I'm just going to keep going, keep letting it all grow. I am going to go back to black because I love that color, but for now I'm just going to try this. I don't know. I'm going to let it grow out, but I thought I'd just try it. And then... After I'm finished dyeing my hair and having breakfast and everything, I think I'm going to take Mocha for a walk, possibly. I don't know, it depends on how lazy I am. And then I'm going to do a few more things for my business because I started making bookmarks. So I'm going to make a few more of those because they're super easy to make, super quick. So I'm going to make a few more of those. It is the 11th of September. I'm going to start Halloween decorating, but... I had to do it in secret because we had all this Halloween stuff everywhere and I think it was like a week ago we finally managed to pack it all up and put it in the trailer so it looks all nice and it's organized so if I go in and say I'm gonna do it she's not gonna be happy mum that is she's not gonna be happy because we spent ages organizing it and it's all organized so I'm just gonna secretly open the trailer get what I need out hopefully and set it up and then put everything back the way it was except for the stuff I'm using to decorate so that is top secret and I don't know if it's gonna be successful or not but I'm gonna try so dyeing my hair and Halloween decorations and more bookmarks these are the bookmarks I have so far it's there's nothing in them they're just like that and then a little Halloween ribbon yeah so I made that one and then these two spider designs. And then I made this ghost one, but uh, when I was ironing it, it got something on it from the iron. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it or put it as seconds, I have no idea. Uh, I started out, cause I never made bookmarks before and I was trying to think of ways that I could save money without having to buy more materials. So I started off with these guys and I'm not happy with them. They've just got cardboard in them and they're just plain bookmarks. So I stopped making those and then I thought of this design where you like sew the inside of it and I was really happy with it. So I'm sticking with these guys. It's all happening and it's all exciting. But first, breakfast. Breakfast done. Time for hair. 
And if all else fails, I'll just go back to black. It's very purple. This is how the hair turned out. You can't even notice it. Like, maybe in the sun, a little bit up the top. <sighs> but yeah, um, it's not really noticeable. And down the bottom, it didn't even stick at all. It's just brown. <laughs> and then the higher you get up, it's like purple. Whatever. I expected it to look a little nicer, but that's... It is what it is. So that's that done and it was kind of a waste of time because it really didn't make a difference at all and look how puffy this stuff is like anyway i'm putting it up because i hate when my hair does this like if it was like here it would be fine but it does this and i hate it it's so frustrating i completely forgot that i ordered So I completely forgot that I have um, recycled paper waiting for me to make pages. Paper recycling kit because um, I was accumulating, like we as a family were accumulating so much like cardboard and paper because we drink cartons and stuff. So I decided to keep it all and then I searched and searched for one of these. I found one for five bucks on Facebook Marketplace and they delivered it for me and it ended up costing me $21. This was five and the delivery and all that crap. So it ended up costing me 21 but um, it was brand new pretty much. So I've been soaking paper for three days now, so it's ready. Um, so I'm just gonna do that instead of, I don't even know what I said. I was, oh yeah, I was gonna decorate, but I'm gonna save that for a little bit later and I'm going to go and do the paper now. It's hot out there, but this is what it looks like. Um, I kind of mix it around with my hands a little bit, but yeah, so we just get, this baby and we just mix it until it's like really fine because there's still little bits of paper and stuff in there so so that's not working the water's just splattering everywhere and it's just not working at all and i'm gonna end up wrecking the thing the mixer thing so i'm not gonna do that so i have my container there and i don't have a blender so <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this the really hard way. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna mix it with my hands and however it turns out is however it turns out. I was gonna add coffee. That's one thing I forgot to do, which I'm gonna do right now because I wanted the paper to be like darker and I wanted it to have a coffee scent. So I've got those, cafe. I'm gonna just dump like, I don't know, like a bunch in there, and then it's gonna smell like coffee, and it's gonna look a little darker. And I'm just gonna mix it with my hands, and that's that. So another thing I also realized I needed is a bit of fabric that's damp, so you can put all your pieces of paper on so they can dry. Uh, and I don't even have that, so this is just not turning out at all. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put the coffee in there, and then mix it a little bit to get the coffee all through it and then I'm just gonna set it aside and worry about that another day. I'm gonna find a sheet, 
a big sheet and lay it on the lawn and then do my paper and put it all on the sheet. But I'm not going to do it today because it's just, it's just too much. It's just so stressful. I know it's not a big deal, but there's just a bunch of other things going on in the day. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'll do that another day. I'm just going to put the coffee in it, mix it, and then I'm going to go do my top secret Halloween decorating. It's just sprinkle. This stuff's kind of expensive, so I'm not like gonna use like heaps of it. <laughs> but oh, I think that's that's pretty good. So it looks real nasty right now. <laughs> it looks so gross. It is a completely different color and kind of looks like poop. So that's fun. Sucks. Every time I do something, it never turns out the first time. Like literally, I'm not even kidding. Everything I do. I start to do it and I research it and everything and then it never works out the first time. I always have to end up spending heaps of money on it or doing it a whole bunch of times before I get it right and I'm just getting real sick and tired of it. So I'm not going out and I'm not wasting my money on a blender because I saw that you could do this without a blender. But the mixer isn't working and these pieces of paper are way too big. It just won't make the paper look good at all. So I I don't even know. I'm just going to let this sit for a few more days and then I'm just going to come along and do it with my hands. I'm just going to smush it all up, try to make it as thin as possible. Um, maybe get a strainer and smush it through that because I'm sick of spending money on stuff. So I'm just going to do that okay so I'm just cleaning in here a bit so that the decorations look nice and everything make sure I have a clean space to put everything there's not much I can do about the carpet it's so gross I try to sweep it off and it's just I need the vacuum out here or something um but yeah I'm just doing my rubbish and then I'm going to go into the um trailer and start pulling the thingy back okay Change of plans. Literally after I said what I said, mum and Stephen walked out here. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna go down the street. We're gonna go to Spotlight, cause I freaking love Spotlight. And we're gonna get some fabric. And that's it. Izzy, what's the matter? What? <laughs> it's okay. Fix this. I just, ugh. Just pick her up and then she's happy. <laughs> it's okay, Mocha. I love you too. Yes, I do. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. I mean, my mom's car. <laughs> boom, boom. I go. I go now. It's too bad, everybody else. <laughs> okay. So we're off to Spotlight, like I just said before. Saturday today. I didn't end up doing the Halloween decorations because we went to Spotlight and then went to a few other places and by the time that was all over it was like really late so I didn't worry about that. What I did end up doing was sewing a bunch of, well not a bunch, it's like three but still, bookmarks for my shop. These are the bookmarks. So I got two of each now. But right now Mocha is crying. <laughs> Because I said, do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> so, we're going to go for a walk. So close, yet so far away. Manga, what you doing? Yeah. 
grocery shopping done. Now time to decorate. Who's the biggest spider? That's not even my biggest spider. I have a really cute big skeleton one. His name is Basil, but he ain't here right now. So we're just gonna have to deal with this one. Yeah, so let's um, time lapse this biatch. <laughs> Yeah, that looks kind of weird, but I don't really know what else to do with it, so that's how he's gonna stay for now. Morning, y'all. It is Monday today. So with my business, I um, dedicated myself three days of the week to like work on that stuff so that if my business became a real business and became big and everything, that I would have three days of the week, that's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, to like work those are my work days basically even though i've got like barely any customers at the minute that's what i gave myself for the week so it's monday today so basically i am trying to get a few things done ready for tomorrow because tomorrow i'm going to dedicate my day to working on stuff for my shop because i have barely anything i ordered enamel pins this was like maybe four or five weeks ago i designed my own pin and order them it was like really expensive but if they if they work out and they get popular then I, it will be cheaper for me because I had to pay a one-off mold fee so if people like my pins then when I buy more it's not gonna cost so much so we've got fabric bookmarks pins um, tomorrow I'm making designing a mug so I will probably print that tomorrow or Wednesday on my mug press, it's over there. And then what I wanna do today is, I've only had four orders, so I've only packaged four, four orders, and they haven't been that amazing. So I've been trying to think, like people like, you know, a little freebie in their package. So I just grabbed a few of the stickers I made and put them in there, cause I didn't really know what else to do. Um, so I thought of this. I can't really actually see it. Oh, there we go. So, I was thinking of designing a bunch of these stickers, printing them out, and then, like, when someone orders something, I could just put this sticker in there because it's all going to be the same. I don't have to, like, dip into the stickers I already have because I don't have many at the minute. So, I could just print out this spooky vibe sticker and then put it in everyone's order, just, you know, just a, a free spooky vibe sticker yeah so I, I thought I would do that I've designed it last night and now I'm going to turn on the printer and the Cricut oops and go on the laptop make a bunch of these put them all together and then print them cut them and then just put them away for orders I did get an order last night. Someone ordered one of my fabric bookmarks, so I packaged that already, but I just haven't got an envelope or anything. But so I put little little um severed hand confetti in there, so that's the bookmark, and then I put my rotten pumpkin sticker on the back. So there's that ready to go with its confetti. And then I'll print out these stickers, put one in there, and then these. Thank you for for supporting my small business. I have these. It's just a blank piece of card and I'm going to use my Cricut machine to write on it because my writing is disgusting. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Izzy, why? What's the matter? 
tell me all about it. What? Peace out.